Hey, welcome back everyone, Jay Barino here, continuing StarCraft Replicant, a custom campaign for StarCraft 2. Running into map 9, Grey Wolf. The Forked Lightning ability is very good for groups of units. Who's gonna have Forked Lightning? Lady Vaj, Warcraft 3 crossover. <laughs> that would be... That'd be jumping the shark at this point, that's for sure. Ghost Academy, Grey Wolf. Unnamed planet. I am quite enjoying this campaign so far. We've tracked Valerian's ship here. Yes, but where is this exactly? It's a Dominion Ghost Academy, but it's one I've never heard of. It seems the Grey Wolf was known only to Arcturus Menx and the ones being stationed here. So, how could the Replicant know about it? It seems that's the reason it took the Emperor's appearance. It could search the Royal Palace without interference. I think it found what it was looking for, but why is it here? There's only one way to find out. First, we'll have to find a way in. The main gates are sealed shut. Yes. Hierarch, let me go and find the means to enter this place. No, Corellius. You've done much already. Stay here and guard our ships. It's time I met this replicant. We will build defenses and hold the main area. Good luck. Artanis, no! He's gonna go and meet the Replicant and then become the Replicant or something. Oh, no, wait! Looks like we're controlling Artanis. Dawn will come. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Change that game speed. Let me just double check my settings real quick. Because I didn't do this before I started. Whoops. Sound is good. Damaged always. No simple command card. Alright, good, good, good. So let's check this out. We can't control this. Rory Swan is here. That's cool. Alright, so the Dominion AI is seemingly on. So last mission, remember, we saw those SCVs weren't mining, so I took their base, even though we were meant to take control of that uh, command center later. But their AI, they didn't build anything. They didn't send anything to help me. In this case, they're actually building stuff, which I think is pretty cool. So the, the Dominion may actually be supporting us at some point. All heroes must survive. Currently, we only have Artanis. What do you have? Lightning Dash, Resurgence, Astral Wind... Force of will. That's exactly how he was in the campaign. There's the forked lightning. Shoots a bolt of lightning at a target doing 30 damage, then continues on to the next target if there's one in range. Okay, and then there's only a five second cooldown, so that seems pretty good. Also, I would consider that more of a chain lightning than a forked lightning. I'm just being a some I'm just I'm just being an asshole about semantics right now. The replicant arrived on this ship. We should destroy it. Yeah, sure. Sure, Corellius, whatever you say, buddy. I'll destroy it. It seems like a little Easter egg up here, I suppose. Let's check this out. Okay, it's been destroyed. High Templar up here. We can lightning dash past this fence. How did you get down here? How did you even get here? Seems like this... Let me just double check. There's nothing over here. Let me check this. If we, Can we go inside this exhaust vent? It's like very pointed that there's an exhaust vent here so we could bypass the main gate. Okay. Well, I just want to remember that I do have Lightning Dash, and I can use it to get past certain doodads, so we'll make sure to use that. Here's the Dominion getting set up. Fill up your bunkers, buddy. Admiral Horner, you're better than this. You're better than this, Admiral Horner. Get these guys in these bunkers. Okay, well, Dominion's got a little base set up here. Hopefully they can help us out later. Uh, the only way to go is down in this direction. Uh, Lightning Dash, past that. Together. We are Armor generator. I wonder, this might open up that exhaust vent, or this is just going to open the main gate. I imagine it's got to do one of those two things, so. Again, all heroes must survive. We only have one. It's possible that Corellius will join us eventually. Good work, Hierarch. By destroying the generator, the main gate is short-circuited and opened. If this is indeed a facility built by Arcturus, you should watch yourself in there. Will do, Horner. My engineer and weapon specialist, Rory Swan, will meet you outside the gate and accompany you. He could prove useful. So we're going to get Swan. That's pretty cool. There he is. Eh, good to meet you, Hierarch, sir. We should get going. I've heard tales of the Grey Wolf. We thought it was just fairy tales. Cloaked Hydralisks for training and everything. Guess there were more than rumors and tales. Well met, Rory Swan. It will be an honor to fight alongside one of Jim Rayner's friends. Anytime you're ready. Strength. Okay, so we're going to be able to... Eh, control Rory Swan. That's pretty neat. Ghost Academy. Grey Wolf is a ghost academy surrounded by myths and rumors, but no one really knows if they're real. It's said that only the most important ghosts were sent here. The rumors also stated that strange experiments were conducted here and that these experiments were part of the ghost training. 
It seems that only the late Emperor Arcturus Menx knew about the facility and took control of it after the fall of the Confederacy. Pretty neat. So, maybe this was the start of Mobius way back in the day, or how this ties into Replicant and Mobius. Because the Replicant seems to either be controlling the remnants of Mobius, who has built up a giant fleet since we last saw them, or... Or that Mobius is controlling the Replicant, I'm not sure. Swan, what can you do? Flaming Betty, we're used to that. Build an extra auto turret, that's pretty cool. And then EMP, so I heard he's, he mentioned something about cloaked hydralisks. We're going to need to use EMP. He doesn't have a passive heal, so the only way we can heal him is with Astral Wind. So definitely want to save Astral Wind in case Swan gets into some major trouble. Left or right? Let's go left. Predators, okay. I just use Astral Wind accidentally. Got to get used to these hotkeys again with both of these heroes. It's definitely a strange combination. Predators. They're a common security measure in Terran facilities. Zip zoom over there. This appears to be a dead end. Is there any way for me to... Nope. I say, is there any shadow shadow dash for me? There's not. I also like how Artanis is noticeably faster than than Swan, so Swan's never going to wind out ahead of... Ahead of Artanis. Artanis, you know, he's got the... He's got Force of Will and Resurgence, so we need we need Artanis taking the heat for sure. I mean, yeah, sure, let's throw down a turret. I don't know. I gotta make sure... I want to be using uh, Forked Lightning a lot. Alive inside. Can we get through here? There's not. That's closed. Um... The only thing I can think of doing is sh um, Shadow Lightning Dash. I want to call it Shadow Dance. That's an op completely different ability. And we hopefully can get Swan across here. Fork Lightning. Fork Lightning, it doesn't do that much damage, but the fact that it can chain seemingly as many times as possible. It says, continues to the next target if there is one in range. So it, sh it should hit everything. All right, this should, yes, perfect. Extend the bridge. I'm gonna quick save. I haven't yet, and you know we're already inside the facility. I don't wanna have this take too much time. No reason to use extra abilities here. These are just predators. A vile roach. I don't like that one bit. There are uh, the cloaked hydralisks. I see. Let's go ahead and use uh, lightning dash to kill them. Now the thing about the cloaked hydralisks is I don't know if EMP would keep them permanently decloaked or not. It might just be a status effect where we can remove it entirely, or they're going to cloak again after a certain amount of time. At which point I'm gonna be using. Lightning dash to kill them right away. Why resist? You'll never find me. The purifiers are mine, and soon I will have the Zerg as well. Salvation is at hand. Yikes. So whoever the replicant is, it might just be the replicant, or it's... I mean, the way that that's worded really seems like it's some sort of hybrid... Something hybrid related. That's kind of how that came across to me. All right, let's keep going down. But yeah, we, we still don't know who, you know, who's controlling the replicant, or if the replicant is just the straight-up antagonist here. Right, come on up here. Let's keep it up. I mean, this seems to be going okay. I mean, more infested Terrans up here. Many gates seem locked. We should find the main computer room so I can reset the power. All right. So it seems like there's two gates down here. Oh, there's Hydralisks in here. So we want to group them up and then EMP them and then Lightning Dash so we can get rid of them. Swan, see, Swan takes a lot of damage. I mean... It's, it's not that he's drawing damage to himself, it's just like he his health bar goes down noticeably fast, so we want to probably be keeping him in the back as much as possible. He does have an attack. There's more Hydralisks here. Okay, looking good. This is a really nice looking facility, though also the lighting inside here is really, really particular and it, it makes things look really unique, like even Artanis looks slightly different. Alright, there's more Hydralisks here, and it's right here. Kinda hard to see those, but it's, it's always an I, I think it's a really interesting and cool mechanic when you're forced to use EMP to reveal cloaked things. It's really, really cool, because you can see where they are, you can see where the attack is coming from, plus the little hazy area that you can kinda tell. Ah, the main computer room. Bring me to that console and I can reset the power for this facility. That will open all the gates for us, but we should worry about what we're setting loose. Uh, okay, so what I'll probably want to do is set up some turrets. Well, let's quick save. Set up some turrets and then open the doors. Artanis, I'm going to move you past the turrets. Warning, a specimen containment room is open. Zerg detected in the main building. Great. <laughs> great, great. I want to keep Swan back here. Hold position. We're going to refresh these turrets as much as possible. Artanis, just, just chill out. Let's start. Yeah, oh my god, that chain lightning is crazy. Did you see that? That was nuts. 
Okay, so we just want to be spamming that, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's that's absolutely crazy. Throw out another Flaming Betty, back up. Keep Chain Lightning. Yeah, because it hits literally everything. That is absolutely nuts. And then Flaming Betty, obviously, back here is, is looking good. Okay, let's uh, use this and Lightning. I'm mostly just focusing on Artanis' abilities. We need to be using Chain Lightning for the most part. That Chain Lightning is crazy, and then Flaming Betty can pretty much finish them up. An Ultralisk. I'm not too worried about the Ultralisk. Artanis can tank him, no problem, and then we can Lightning Dash to stun it. Okay. That was a neat little section, I will say, and I'm glad that I quick saved before it, because that could have ended in disaster. Okay, is there anywhere for me to Lightning Dash to? What I do want to do is backtrack just a little bit to see, well, if this gate opened. I'm curious to know if this back here opened. Let's check up here first. If not, then obviously we're going to come back here. These two almost definitely open. That's where all those uh, Zerglings came out of. I think that's cool. I like the idea of a, of a micro map where it's almost like a series of mini games. And I know it's, it's, you know, you know, I think you know what I mean when I talk about it being like a series of, a series of encounters where you have to use very specific abilities and understand that your heroes have specific abilities to deal with specific situations. So in that case, using that forked lightning was very, very important because it just, it brought all the Zerglings low enough that they could be killed with one attack. And then between uh, Lightning Dash to clean up anything that was left, plus the turrets, which could one-hit kill any of the Zerglings that were left after getting hit with Forked Lightning, it's very particular. So it's really just understanding your hero's abilities and using them when proper. Alright, let's head on up here. Maybe more Zerg. Let's quick save now. Left or right? Left or right? Uh, let's go right. Operations and do not enter. Let's check out Operations first, I suppose. More Predators. Okay, no problem. Swan, why don't you move back just a little bit? And there are there are holograms of hybrid in here, which scares me a little bit. A noxious ultralisk. I don't like the look of that one bit. Let's throw this down, and uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to EMP. Okay, astral wind. There are more cloaked hydralisks. And again, I'm using lightning dash right away when they become visible because I don't know how long they'll stay visible. It might be permanent. I don't know. The one thing you want to remember about Astral Wind is that no matter how much health you have left, it'll it'll heal you to full. It's just your shields where it only does it does 300, so... You can let your health get pretty low before you want to use Astral Wind because it will always heal you back to full. Because you want to kind of maximize the, the health requirements. It looks like I could probably Lightning Dash past this, or I could backtrack and go left instead. Uh, let's... Whoa, that was a weird path for him to take. Um... I feel that I may have found a way outside of the bounds of the map because this is all Together, empty we are strong. and flat so I am going to backtrack and I'll ours. check around here just to kind of confirm my suspicions because I might be wrong I might be wrong but I suspect that I may be outside the the bounds of the playable map by by leaping past this yeah yeah I can tell because there's some invisible blockers here too so let's just go back I don't think I was supposed to, to have done that. Okay, so over here. Yeah, see, and this is all unpassable. So I found like a... I must have found like a real small area that I was able to... Yeah, traverse. It was, it was right there. That was like very luck-based. So you're not supposed to do that. So maybe you just, you just need to extend the, the impassable terrain just a tiny, tiny bit. Because that was the only area I was able to, to lightning dash. So just pointing that out to Hope Manable. Just a small little thing. There was nothing down here, by the way. So that was a slight waste. Gotta level up our heroes, though. 166 kills, 48, plus however many Flaming Betty has. I don't know. Does does Flaming Betty count towards his kills? I'm not sure. I think not. It's it's a separate unit. It's a summonable separate unit, right? Okay, and I don't see any Hydralisks. I don't think I see any Hydralisks. No. It's, it's hard to keep an eye out for those, because their attack animation is quiet. It's a very soft, like as they shoot their spines at you, and then it's also, it's kind of hard to see. It's a very thin spike, so just keeping an eye out for those. Ah, there's hybrid. Of course there's hybrid, but that's okay. We're going to be able to wipe these things out, hopefully. And this is very, very cool looking with the smoke. And there's a, another, another beacon here. Let's bring Swan to this one. Well, wait, 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 wait. Let's quick save, throw down Flaming Betty, and then walk on top of the turret. Looks like we need Artanis for this one. 
Anytime you're ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, did that did that do anything? Strength. That had to have done Our something. Because no, nothing happened. Okay, it's it's all right. Um, do we want to go down here or let's 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 swing down in this direction? This seems like a a smaller area where we might be able to find something. I can't zip zoom down there with shadow or lightning dash. So this is our only path to take right now. The gate ahead is closed. Yes, it is closed because of the fire. There should be a sprinkler system. It seems offline. Perhaps we can reboot it. We should hurry, though. I'm sweating real bad already. I serve sprinkler team. system. There are three cloaked drones in the room. If activated, they can extinguish the fire, and the gate will unlock. Use Artanis' forked lightning to reboot the drones. Because of the fire, Artanis and Roy Swan have reduced sight and take two hit points second... Two hit points a second fire damage. Okay, and I see the minimap has gotten smaller, so we can't leave the room. So we have to EMP them and then use Fork Lightning to turn them back on. Again, sort of like a minigame type thing. That's really cool. So we have to find them. I'm on the look. Oh, there's one, there's one. Uh, wrong, wrong person. I thought I hit it right there. We can always use Ash to win. Okay, there it is. It's patrolling back and forth. Whoa, get him. Change. Ah! So because they're flying, I, it's hard for me to hit exactly where they might be on the ground. So Astro Winds doesn't make this too bad. There we go. Forked Lightning. Forked Lightning. There we go. One of them is on. Let's go and look for the rest. This is pretty cool. This kind of reminds me of that the Orion Olin Eclipse section in the, in the last mission where you had to turn on the or disable the widow mines that were poisoning the room. Here's another one. And it's here. And fourth lightning. That's two. I see it's keeping track of those two. So it's not like you have to do them all three in a certain in like a certain time frame. It's they once you activate them, they're just on, which is cool. I must have passed the other one. Maybe it's up here. I must have passed it. Is it in here? Well, here's the first one. Make sure we keep using Ash to Wind. Again, it's it's like a semi-optical illusion, so it is it's not easy for me to find exactly where these things are. So you gotta if you have seen it and I haven't, you gotta give me a bit of a break. Though I imagine it's harder for you to tell on the video than it is for me looking at my screen and playing it actively. Okay, that was the other one that we got. We can't get out of here yet. Ash to Wind. It might just be cloaked and sitting still, which is why I can't can find it. No doubt. And... Is clear. Maybe it would have been right at the beginning? Together, we are strong. I mean, unless... You know what? Did I EMP one? Dawn will come. Did I EMP one and then... The future is ours. Well, I don't know. No, that was the first one that I got. With honor. I'm concerned that it's standing still and I just can't see it. Together, we are strong. Cause it's I don't think it's moving. I don't see it anywhere. Let's show them what we got. Yeah, I mean yeah, I can I'm start EMPing it. all over the place. I got it, Hotshot. Damn straight. Strength. Hmm. I may have to make a short cut here while I look for I it. Oh no, no, wait, wait, wait. No, that's just the we other one we've already gotten. Prevail. Yeah. Arak and Vyash. A bold plan. Hmm. Is there somewhere for us to shadow dance, perhaps, to find it? Or <sighs> lightning dash? Shadow dance. I'm never going to get that right. See, right here seems like where one would be. Where are you, fire drone? I would expect it to be back here. But I don't see any distortion. Maybe it's up here. I quick saved when I entered. Oh, did I quick save again? I might want to load the, the save just to see if I can find it. It's back here. No. I mean, the best I can do is just hit every section of this map with an EMP, which I don't want to do. So there's one here. There's one here. See, it seems like it would be in this area, but again, it, it's standing still. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. 
Sprinkler systems. I got it, Hutch. Sprinkler systems, I need you. Okay, I'm gonna load real quick just to see if maybe it will force them to respawn or something like that. I'm not sure. I have no idea. But it's especially if it's standing still, it's very, very hard to spot a cloaked unit. Particularly if it's standing still. Plus, there's some distortion because of the fire. Okay, good. We're right here at the start. So let's keep a very close eye out. One of them was right here. So let's wait for it to come by us. Okay, we got one, and then it moves over to this area. Let's swing up to this corner and see if maybe there's another one. Let's just be very, very diligent. Okay, it's not up there. We've revealed one. It's going over to this set of fire. No. Again, I would have expected it to be in here, but it's not. Okay, it's not here. Oh, wait, no, it is here. It is here. I, I think I see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just moving really, really fast. Okay. All right. No problem. That gave me a little more. Pro that gave me a little more trouble than I'm proud to to say it did. And this one's right here. Chain lightning. There we go. So that should. Yeah. There we go. All the fires extinguished. Good. That did it. And we're back to the normal mini-map, which is great. Let us move on. Research no Bay. Doubt. Well, this is ominous. Are we going to have to fight some sort of super ghost? It looks like this one is still alive. Yeah, the only one so far. It seems like he's been here for years. Agent 1015 OR. Looks like he's special. I could find out who he is, but it will take time. You do that. I will go on and find this replicant. Okay. Does that mean we're losing Swan for now? Swan, no! Well, that's just one more liability I don't have to worry about, I suppose. I'm curious to know who this ghost is going to be. He's been in there for years. I wonder I wonder if that's supposed to be like a, maybe a known character. Okay, so we're back to just Artanis, which is fine with me. Again, one hero is a little easier to control than two. Just a silly excuse to make. Okay, Lightning Dash does work on the turrets. Let's quick save now, and let's head into this room that appears larger than the rest. It seems like this room was made for a containment of radioactive waste. With er. I lead. Well, we probably don't want to go in there. there Artanis, no come and face me. I will deliver you into darkness. You know, for a robot, you're really, really Our ominous, Replicant. Awaits. That's why I'm thinking there's some sort of hybrid... Together, some sort of hybrid activity going on here. We already fought a hybrid inside this, inside this facility, but clear. if Mengsk knew about this facility, he may have had hybrid here in the first place. The that could be why we saw one. All right, we found our way here. Foolish Protoss, did you actually think I would be here? I'm very safe from your grasp, I assure you, but this hybrid will welcome you in my stead. Behold, my greatest creation, of course. Do not be so sure about my demise, Replicant. I faced hybrid before. I know, but the Terran has perfected Amon's work. This is the ultimate hybrid. These generators. If I can lure the enemy to ram one of them, it should be electrocuted and stunned. That seems pretty cool. Let's see how this fight goes. I'm going to quick save first thing, as usual. Oh, God. Dash, dash away from that. Ah, so it, it sort of just follows us. We can sort of stay ahead of it, though. That's important. And it looks like it's getting ready to ram. Yeah, I see. It didn't quite, it must not have quite hit there. We can stay just ahead of this fire, and then we can always lightning dash past it as well. Okay, it looks like it's revving up. Maybe not. We want to stay right by the generators. We want it to to hit the generators. I'm not sure if that means it's going to take damage, or it's, maybe it's not vulnerable, or I should just be trying to attack it. All right, come at me, bro. Or just keep doing the fire. That's fine, too. 
I kind of want to just try attacking it. Oh, it's going to... It, oh, no, it's not going to ram me. Okay, we definitely do some damage to it. Again, I wanted to ram one of the generators because I want to see how that mechanic works. So let's just sit on this side. We don't want to stand in the fire. Still no ramming. I mean, it rammed once and it missed, I think. Okay, we're doing damage, but I don't think we can properly man fight this thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, there was the ram, but I stunned it right before it could. Over here, jerk. Yeah, oh, nope, not quite. Yeah, come over here. Seems like we've unlocked another ability that it's going to be using against us. Run, run, run. Run, Artanis. Run, Artanis. We can just draw this farther away from us and then zoom over. The boss battles in this campaign have been really well done so far. Okay, let's avoid this. He's just going to continue using this, which is fine with me. We can't... Oh, we can. We can, st we can stun him from using that, any more of that. I think. Oh, what's it doing now? Over here. Over here. Ram me. Yes! Oh, didn't quite... Didn't quite get him to hit it. And I'm stunning him as he starts using the fire. I think I can mostly just man fight him while he's doing this. We want to... We want to... Have him face this direction so that if he wants to ram us, we can... Nope, not quite. Yeah, see, he definitely does more damage than me. I'm stunning him every time it looks like he's charging up to use some sort of ability. Yeah, go ahead and ram. I am not sure how to get him to ram into the generators. I'm stunning him when he uses that, because that's a pain in the ass of an ability to avoid. And it's really, I think, about rationing my abilities stun him. So yeah, if we stun him out of using the fire, if we stun him out of... Anytime it looks like he's charging up some sort of ability, I think we can mostly fight him head on. Just we're not doing a lot of damage. I need to keep using shadow or lightning dash. Okay, that does noticeable damage unless we just move. We have to move away from it. It's in, it, maybe if I if I stand too far away from him, he's just going to keep using the the fire. It seems like so. Let's try to get him a little further away. No, maybe not. I'm not sure. I guess I'll just I'll just man fight him until. Another issue is sometimes it looks like he's rearing back to charge. Well, I just stunned him out of it. But it, sometimes it looks like he's rearing back to charge, but it's really just him shooting the fire. So I, I preemptively try to stun him. So I'm stunning him before he ever charges, so I haven't been able to utilize the charge mechanic into the generators, unfortunately. Artanis, I succeeded in opening the gate. The hybrid is too strong. We should lure it into that containment area and seal it in there. Good idea, Rory Swan. This hybrid is strong indeed. Ah, we could have taken it, Artanis. We could have taken it. Escape the hybrid. In order to escape the hybrid, Artanis must use his abilities. Press the correct button at the right time. You will have to be quick. When ready, press continue. Quick save. I will hit continue. Oh, it's like a... What? It's like a... I can't... Why can't I think of the word right now? It's like a quick time event. This is, this is really, really neat. So it's just hitting hitting R at the right time to blow up barrels. Let's be on the lookout Q. If it's QWER, I think I've got this. I think I've got it handled. Run Artanis. Run, buddy. There's no music right now, so it's kind of funny. It's just complete silence as we're running for our lives. Oh! Oh, we tricked that bitch! Keep going, Artanis. You got this. This is, this is really cool. It's an interactive cutscene in StarCraft II. Very, very neat. There we go. That was close. We will never find the replicant this way. We lock the facility down and blast it with the Spear of a Dune, vanquishing the hybrid and the replicant at the same time. Sounds like a plan. You really should get out of there, Artanis. We know who the ghost is. You won't believe it. Who's it gonna be? Who is it? Swan, you can't just leave me hanging. All right, there's still a cutscene. He should reveal it to us. So, who is this agent? He's an old Confederate ghost. I found that Mengsk has been storing him here ever since he established the Dominion. Everyone thought that this kid died or so, his father told me in the crew. He didn't really like to talk about it. So it's a super old ghost. 
His name is John Rayner. Oh, shit. The son of... Jim Rayner, yes. We do not know much more or how long he's been in stasis. We have to take him back to Core Hall. We will keep you posted. Who is this Jim Rayner? I will fill you in later, Executor. For now, know that he was a friend of the Protoss. Well, it is time. We will return to Ire. We will fire the Spear of a Dune from orbit. Good work, everyone. Interesting. There is... I, I'm pretty sure there is canon lore somewhere about Jim Rayner having a son. And keep in mind, this is post-Legacy of the Void after Jim Rayner hasn't been in contact with anybody since after the, the epilogue, so... He's gone, but interesting, interesting idea here that we may be able to, to rescue his son after years of captivity. And, you know, I, I've said this a lot, but Holt Manable, really well done with the story. It, it really is, it's intriguing. It's really well done. And um, it's, it's one of the better stories. I mean, custom campaigns, usually it waffles between great gameplay, great story, and you can kind of have one or the other, but not necessarily both. But there are some campaigns out there, and I would consider this one of them, that really does a great job balancing the story and really, really intriguing gameplay with some boss fights, too. Because keep in mind, um, you know, a, getting, a, getting a story right is challenging because some people may go overboard with exposition. Some people do just the right amount of exposition. And some people... It's tough. It's tough. It's really hard to get right. And this campaign really gets it right. I really am enjoying the story so far. And it, it keeps you guessing. And even here in Mission 9... You know, you're wondering, like, oh, who's this ghost? It's going to be someone that we know? I don't know. So, uh, really well done. And we'll see what Mission 10 is going to be as we hopefully hunt down the Replicant. And I'm hopeful we won't have an ending similar to Pandora, where just everybody dies over the course of, like, the next decade. Everybody just gets slowly wiped out by a virus or something. Because <laughs> that was how Pandora ended. Which I thought was actually pretty interesting. I liked it a lot as an interesting twist on a, a typical story ending. All right, this has been Jay Barino. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.